insulin, and cortisol. Those are the mean bullies. Those are the ones that make us fat. Estrogen does not. Estrogen actually pushes both of these down to an extent. But when estrogen gets out of the system, these two wreak havoc. Because they were high the whole time, now they're just having a field day. They're running around, making bellies fat, making stress levels high, and making it almost impossible to lose weight. So let's start with insulin. If you can lower your baseline insulin by just 5%, you're going to increase fat burning by up to 25%. So project one, lower baseline insulin. Clinical studies prove it. Lowering your baseline insulin is going to increase your fat burning potential. Your body will burn fat faster. But first, how about another joke? Cookie Monster, I can't lose weight. Must be my trainer's fault. Well, yes and no. If your trainer was telling you to diet, well, kind of is his fault. Your trainer was telling you to intermittent fast or do keto, yep, kind of their fault. They just didn't know any better. Because I used to be that trainer. I used to be that coach. I used to be that practitioner. All right. Here's how you turn your fat-burning hormones back on. You must delay gratification, but you must do it in the right way, and that's called the shift. Shifting from one fuel tank to the other. You have two fuel tanks. Your body can only run on two different fuels. We're like a Prius car. Prius can run on gas or electricity. We run on sugar, aka glucose, our sugar tank, or we run on Type it in the chat, and here's a hint. It rhymes with chat. We're either running on sugar or we're running on. Dun, da, da, da. It is fat. <laughs> she even got it with a typo. Good job. Yes, that's it. So get this, everyone, get this through your bodies and brains. You can only run on two different energies fat or sugar. That's it. The problem is, most Americans are spending way too much time in their sugar tank. Because here's where the hormones come in. When you are in the sugar tank, insulin's running the show. When you're in the fat tank, glucagon comes out. And after glucagon gets tired, human growth hormone comes out. We want to shift to that metabolism. So these are two different metabolic pathways. These are not the same. This is not calorie restriction. This is not intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, sometimes if you do 18, 18 hours fasted or 20 hours fasted, you start to shift. But intermittent fasting, most people never ever shift, so it never gets the benefits, not the hormone benefits. Jason Fong was the first person that told me about this. Hormone balance is the real game changer in fat loss. Fix the hormones and your body's fat burning machinery falls into place. Autophagy. This is where we start doing the healing, people. Autophagy, 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 autophagy. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Say it how you want. It's where the healing takes place. But it only happens when you shift. Now, some of you shift after 14 hours. Some of you start shifting after 14 hours. Everybody has a different metabolism shift point. I don't know what yours is. I don't know what Karen's is compared to Nellie's. I don't know what... Shauna's is compared to Vinny's. I know the shift point of each person I work with. And I can teach you how to discover your shift point. Because this is how you start healing your hormones.